right, the show was incredible. We told you this year's 2023 BET Awards was gonna be iconic. Hip hop was throughout the building and we were super hyped. Now stick with us for the next hour while we flash back to some of the best moments of the show. And we're gonna talk to some people walking out, all right? I'm DJ Envy. This is the BET Awards Digital Post Show presented by Popeyes and his coach's biggest night. And we gotta bring our first person that I see over there. She goes by the name of Spice. And when I say she was spicy on that stage, she was able to hop around with one leg. She did a split. Can Spice come on up here? Spice, how you doing, Spice? How is everything? How you feeling? I'm feeling great. Take a seat, take a seat. Oh, thank you. Now you perform tonight. How, how, how are you feeling performing? I'm feeling great. I'm excited. I'm so happy. This is not a small thing. It's not a small moment. Right. It's something to feel big about. It's a very big thing. And I'm just super honored to know that, you know, Buster Rhymes got his Lifetime Achievement yes, Award. Yes. And I'm a part of the whole, you know, excitement. So it goes down in history. And I'm just super happy. I'm just grateful. Big up Father God for this moment. I'm excited for the dance hall culture and to be here to represent. It feels good. Spice, you know you stood on one foot yes. and you had one foot in the air <laughs> and you did. spun around yes. and then you landed in a split yes. and then you got back up and then twerked on Buster and Buster played the drums oh. on your butt. Did you did you know all of that happened? No, I did not. I, I didn't even rehearse or practice did, that. No, moment. so no rehearsal. So, it was just a feeling. Uh, yes, because uh, my friend was like, oh my God, you didn't rehearse. What's going to happen? I said, I do this in my sleep. I can do it with my eyes closed. And you did. And I did. And you killed it. So, so what, else did you, you. what else did you enjoy about the show? Besides the Buster tribute, what else did you enjoy? You know, I enjoy a lot of the performance. Um, I enjoy Bia, you know. Bia I'm killed super, it, yes. Yeah, she definitely killed it. Um, Carla Ray, she did it so easily and effortlessly. Um, so many other people and talents. Um, who else? I know I'm forgetting someone, but so many great talents was in the house, and I was super happy to be here to witness it for myself. All right, so what's next for Spice? I know, I know you're walking out, you got things to do. What's next for you? Um, I just released a song called Jealous, and I also have Queen of the Dancehall song out, and I have so many things. God bless me. Music is out. That's what's next for me. And you can catch me on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, so I'm doing a lot of things. All right, and you should do a class, and you should teach these young girls how, how to hop on one foot dance. with one hand up and then land in a split. Yes, the dancehall culture will teach you that. We learned that from Jamaica easily, so just come on Jamaica. All right, well, keep it locked right there. We're talking to artists as they come out, and welcome to the BET Awards 2023 Digital Post Show presented by Popeyes. Let's check some more out. Oh, who's coming out? Who's coming back out? Hey, what up, y'all? I'm your boy, DJ Envy. We're back at it. The BET Awards, always sure to bring some legendary and unforgettable moments to music history. And this year, they took it to another level as BET celebrated 50 years of hip-hop. From the performances to the Lifetime Achievement Award, Hip Hop's Finest was representing at tonight's BET Awards. And of course, there were also some unexpected surprises that made us laugh, dance, and of course, jump to our feet. Let's check out some of the things that went on tonight. We came from nothing to something. Hey. I don't try nobody, grip the trigger. Nobody. Call up the gang and they come and get yanked. Okay. Me your river, what we tell you? My is bad and bougie bad. Cooking up don't with a ooze. Yeah. My niggas is savage, roof is sad. We got thudders and hunter rounds too. Now, the best new artist, the winner is. Drum roll. Coco Jones. <laughs> My mama and my family are right there, so it just, I'm so happy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, BET. I remember when I did 106 in Park with y'all, I was 16, and them tight little gray skinny jeans and my sneakers. It's been a long journey. Thank you guys for rocking with me the whole time. Guess what? Hold on, hold on. I got to show you. I got to turn you. I got to turn you around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Where we at? What is happening? <laughs> you won! You won, Mama! You won! And the winner is... Lotto! I'm not gonna cry this year. 
Shout out to God, God. He be doing his big one on me. Shout out to all the other women in the category. Ah! All the women who paved the way for this to even be possible. This category is going crazy this year. Ah! When I say Buster, you say rhymes. Buster, rhyme. Buster, rhyme. Buster. Rhyme. We celebrating him while he's here today, right now. The Lifetime Achievement Awards to my brother right now. This, this statue, <laughs> this trophy's heavy for a heavy weight, for real. This thing like, you trying to make me work out, bus? Hold on, Swiss, don't be talking about the stuff like that and move like this and move like that. I speak to this brother every day and there's so many people in this room that this brother inspired. And if Buster inspired you, make another round of applause right now. I could talk all day about my brother. The 2023 Lifetime Achievement Award presented by Sprite goes to the Don Dada, the Don Dada, the Don 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 Dada. Buster Rams! Whoa, 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 whoa. While I'm in the club, I'll be running the studio. You, you don't, don't want to violate. Really, you're truly your mom ain't done. Will and they Julio? He Julio, hey. Type of brother that is slapping with, with the Julio, hey. Real shook, skid to death. Act Julio, hey. Stack. Look at Shorty, she got oh. the key to your door. When she shake it, make me want to get off. Time man, shit, shit, get back and misses. While I'm with my freak like we up. In the freak, I show up. Hit you with the, make you feel me do. Holding your toes, hey. Hot shit, got on my people. The wet clothes down. Start on my manifolds when I fall my name up. And you can talk, though you messing with lyrical play. All right, you seen tonight Busta Rhymes and the family killed it. What did you think yeah, about that? Was that was crazy. Nah, that was legendary. I ain't gonna lie. Busta Rhymes, he definitely deserved that, and that was just fire right we're, there. We're talking to King Combs, of course. <laughs> so a lot went on tonight. A lot of performances, a lot of dance. What was one yeah. of your favorites of the night? Besides Busta, of course. My favorite was just the whole hip hop 50 concept, like all the artists on the stage at the same time. Like, I've never been to a concert like that. I feel like that was, that was just OD fire. For, for so many, from Warren G to Dougie yeah. Fresh to Sugar Hill Gang. It was like somebody was just on the aux playing just, just hits. Just playing music just bow, all day bow, long. Bow, bow. <laughs> I gotta ask you a question. So now, with, with, with your dad back doing records, right? Yeah. And of course, you doing records. How, uh -huh. how do y'all decide who takes a record, right? Like, uh -huh. act bad. I know when you heard act bad, you're like, dad, that's mine. That's yeah. my dad. And he's like, no, that's mine. How do y'all decide who gets the record and who doesn't? Nah, well, actually, we don't even like choose the same songs. We be in the studio separate, it's two different states. Sometimes he in Miami, I be in, out here in New York, and we just cook up and we play each other the songs together. We never really like took each other songs yet. So y'all done had, had a problem with him, somebody playing the beat and you be like, Dad, I want that. Oh, nah, nah, we kind of do have that problem. I'm not even going to lie. Wait, wait, what beat? What, what was one of the beats he was like, nah, that's my dad. Or oh, you got to tell the producer, nah, sometimes, don't play that for my dad. Sometimes he just be hearing the fire beats. He don't never want to let him go. Right. You right about See, that. You right about that. I know how it is. So, so what's next for King Combs, man? Yeah, so what's next for me is I'm dropping my mixtape C3. It's three songs, three hits. For the summer is gonna be crazy, and after that I'm dropping my album. July 14th though is the three pack C3. Everybody stay tuned. Let's get it. Now I gotta ask, your family is so strong and so tight. How do y'all yeah. remain so tight? Is it, is it like Dad says every Sunday y'all better come over, or like <laughs> how is it? Because it's, it's y'all a tight knit family, and you 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 rarely see that with family. Sometimes it's it's one brother don't mess with the rest of the brothers, yeah, one sister yeah. don't mess. But y'all seem like y'all very very tight. Yeah, well I mean. 
sometimes we do, you know, soul food Sundays to keep us together. But for the most part, it's really just, you know, natural. Like, I love all my brothers and sisters. I never really even get into arguments with them, like, ever. So it's really just a natural bond, I would say. And I don't know, I just say, you know, trusting each other, just real natural love. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to seeing you next year. I'm sure hopefully you'll be performing. You had a big yeah, record yeah. this year with, with, Kodak. with Kodak. Shout out my so. boy Kodak. Can't stop, won't stop. That's right. Bad boys, bad boy for life. We going crazy. C3, three pack by the drop. July 14th. Let's get it, baby. BT, what we doing? All right. Well, I appreciate <laughs> you for joining us. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah, thank you. All right. Now, this is the post show, so we're bringing up some more artists. I see Crime uh -huh. Mob over there. Scrappy, you want to come up here with Crime Mob? I got to yell at you, Scrappy. Y'all want to come up here? Come on. <laughs> Come on up. Appreciate you, brother. Pull up. Thank you, brother. All right, now. All right, so now I'm going to bring up Crime Mom, my brother Scrappy. And this is what it's all about. Of course, this is the post show brought to you by Popeyes. What's up, brother? How's everything, brother? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey. Hey. You can sit over here. Sit over here. You can sit there. You can sit there. I mean, let's fill this up. So, of course, 50 years of hip hop. So, what did y'all think? I mean, so many performances tonight. We've seen the South represented, the, the West, the North, the South. So, what did you guys think? I liked it, man. Like, it was the, you know, normally you see what you don't want to see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This time I seen everything I wanted to see. I heard all the hits from the old and new, and I, it was just jamming, man. It was like a mixtape. Mm -hmm. Now, I asked you before about Busta Rhymes' performance. Oh what did you think? I was emotional. I feel everything he said from me starting out with a group, going solo, still being in a position to be able to perform with my group, but all those challenges that he went through, having to really just thug it out, grind it out, I totally felt them. He always showed love. This was long overdue. I'm just so happy and proud of him. And what's next for Crime Mob? I know y'all went on tour. Y'all going back on tour. What, what, what's, what does it look like? What y'all going to do? Well, this Trillville. I said Trillville, Crime Mob, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, us and uh, Crime Mob been touring together as well as Scrappy, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So we got a Trillville, Scrappy 2 album, you know, on the way, you know yeah. what I mean? And just more touring, you know what I mean, going crazy. And what gives y'all the, the, not the energy, but what gives y'all the inspiration to still write and still record and still make music? You know, the fans, man, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Uh, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, you know, 50 years of hip-hop, still be here, people still sampling in our record, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Shout, shout out, out to Dochi. Fans, man. Shout, shout out to Dochi. Dochi. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So I appreciate you guys for joining us, and thank y'all so much. It's good to see y'all hopping out on stage, and I've seen y'all at the other, other stage over there, yeah. and how people still love the music. Oh, yeah. And it has to be a, a great feeling because it's not just – our generation is the right. younger kids. They yeah, know the records. They yeah. fight into the records man, and they go into I'm the records. Grateful, man. And, I'm I, and that has to be a great thing. I always just tell God, man, I'm grateful for the energy and the talent and success that He gave us. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. everybody ain't got that. I know a lot of guys came in with us, man. They they out of breath, Jack. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? So I, hey, I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful for us. Now you you got to say this. Since we were watching Buster Rhymes, Buster Rhymes performed for 25 minutes. Woo! And we're still able to be like, I was getting tired watching him. Me too. Yeah. I, I was sitting there like, damn, how long does he go? Like, you feel <laughs> me? Like, it's like the Energizer Bunny. He keeps going and going <laughs> and going. Yes, All right, sir. while you watch along with us live, be sure to drop in some of your comments on your favorite moments, including thoughts of the Hip Hop 50 performance, the fashion, the surprises, and everything. I want to hear from you. I want to see what you got to say, what the streets got to say, and I'll be reading some of your comments during the show. All right? Yes, so don't go sir. anywhere. And look who made their way out to the awards and over to us at the exclusive BET Awards. It's Atlanta, Jack. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> and we'll be back with more. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. I'm DJ Envy's The Post Show, brought to you by Popeyes, y'all. Yes, sir. All right, now we're back. This is the post show. First of all, how are you feeling today, man? I'm feeling blessed. Was this your first BET Award show? This is my first. And, and what you thought? Um, I mean, like, I've always seen it, like, as an amazing show all the time on TV. So, like, coming up, I've, I just wanted to come out and have a good time. 
you know, I actually thought I was going to pick up the award, but I didn't. But I still had a good time and I learned a lot. Yeah, you were up for International Song of the Year. No, um, Best New International Best act. Best New International. Yeah. But you were in there with a lot of people, though, as well. 100%. 100%. You're coming from Ghana, so how, how yeah. do you feel like... Uh, what, what do you categorize your music as? Because it's so many. It's some people call it Afro beats, Afro yeah. pop, Afro yeah. this. What do you categorize yeah. it? As? It's Afro beat. Like Afro um, beat. technically, like music coming from Africa, it's Afro beat. You know, I personally like I categorize my music as Afro pop because I got inspired by Akon, and he's the reason why I started to make music. So it's like the West thing, and then you know the indigenous high life put it together, mm -hmm. and then I made like I make Afro pop most of the time. So what do you feel that, you know, being from Ghana and hearing your music all over the world and all over the country? Because at one time, it just felt like me being a DJ, I would, I would travel everywhere and I yeah. would hear it there and I would see how big it is in Ghana or right. I would be in Nigeria or I'd be in Kenya and I'm DJing and I hear how the music is. But the fact that it has crossed over international lines and, and in some aspects it's bigger than some of the music that we're putting out. So how does that feel to connect to all these different countries like me i studied marketing in uni and i understand that marketing that is the secret behind all these like big songs do you know what i'm saying like nothing really just pops out like that it has to be marketing so i just put in the work with regards to marketing i market the product and i make sure that it goes there so when i saw it happen i knew that okay fine it kind of like confirmed or validated my phenomenon you know so like that's just what i believe in and like that's what i'm gonna do like continue to do because i've done it it has worked that means i just have to keep doing it and then you know keep crossing over so tonight's bet awards what was some of the most memorable moments for you oh my god especially like, this being your first time yeah like I saw myself on I saw myself on the screen. I was so happy. I saw Davido, like he came and he I was dance. Him. I was dancing because it's like it's the closest to Ghana, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm literally like the only Ghanaian here, so I was really excited. I saw um, I saw them honor um, Buster Rhymes, and you know I really loved that. I loved that he poured his soul. Like he was really vulnerable out right, there. Right, right, like, right, right, right. Yeah, that's what I stand for. I stand for truth. I stand for love, family. So yeah, I mean, like I was really inspired by those two guys. Now, if somebody yeah. wants to follow you, give me your information how they can follow you. Um, please, you can follow me on social media: C A M I D O H, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, like literally every social media platform, YouTube, and I got a new mixtape out called Lita, L-I-T-A. It's amazing. You know, I pour my soul out there, so I want people to check it out. Now, the last thing I got to ask you is I've seen you over there and people coming up, walking to you, taking pictures. Yeah, yeah, From yeah. Michael Blacks into hip-hop <laughs> artists. How did how did that feel? Like, you know, because people know who you are. And yeah. that, that has to be a feeling of, damn, I made it. Yeah, it kind of, it's, it's, it's knowing that you're a star and, you know, when you're a star, you shine light. And so it's like everybody wants to walk in light. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's just being humble and making sure that you share that light with, like, the rest of the world. That just made me feel humble and blessed. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us, nah, brother. I appreciate you, you, man. Love. Wish you the best of luck. Love. All right. Love. Now, thank as you. we all know, artists in hip-hop are not just producers or just MCs. They're innovators. They push every aspect of the hip-hop culture forward every day by constantly drawing on their heritage and history to inspire by our new authentic creations that the world craves. The same is true about the Cajun and Creole heritage that Popeyes draws to create their delicious and flavorful meals. No doubt, we're happy to have Popeyes be a part of the Digital Post Show family as a sponsor. And if you want to order some Popeyes while you watch the show, scan the QR code and order now. Matter of fact, can somebody get me a three-piece? I'm starving. No, I'm serious. My assistant's back there. Mercedes, can you please get me some Popeyes? Let's make that happen, and we'll be right back. I'm DJ Envy. It's the BET Post Show. To to All right. Now, you definitely had some thoughts on tonight's show, right? The feed is blowing up. Now, let's start with some of the reads because people are hitting me all crazy. Somebody said, hashtag being towards got me one in Popeye's chicken, red beans, and rice. How are you going to forget about the French fries? Like, Popeye's French fries is the most amazing. All right, let's go to somebody else. Uh, hashtag BET Awards was lit. Buster Rhymes gave a great message. I loved it. Yeah, Buster's message was amazing. Uh, he was just talking about the industry, about squashing petty beefs, and, you know, the younger artists need to work with the, with the OGs and, and do something together I thought was amazing. And now, hashtag BET Awards. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I love how y'all executed the awards this year. Y'all the greatest to do it. The vibes were immaculate, and, of course, she had the Jamaican flag. I mean, I love how they went in from culture to culture, right? If you think about it, they went from the West then they went to the south, the north, they had east coast, and then they had the islands, and I just thought that was dope. They represented everybody. So salute to whoever put on this BET Awards show tonight. They did an amazing job, all right? Uh, another person, 
Hashtag BT Awards, of course. Show was absolutely fire, nonstop fire throughout the show. Surprise after surprise after surprise. I didn't know Jeezy was gonna be there or Kid and Play. I just, I just thought it was dope. So, dope, 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 dope. Now we have to go to Tina Turner tribute. Patti LaBelle killed it. Now she forgot a little bit of the words, but don't we all? And usually what do we do when we forget the words? We hum. She just asked for help. She said, guys, I can't read the, the prompter, so help me out. And of course, as BET fashion, we did. Check it out. Come on! Post show, we're here and we have the lovely Lola Brooks here. What's up, Lola? Hey. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Can't complain. I'm at the BT Awards. First of all, congratulations on the performance. Thank you. You killed it. Appreciate that. How much do you have to practice to get that performance like that? Because it was on point. Okay, so I performed this choreography before and it took me two days and then I had to extend it and it literally, I only had like a day for BET, so. I don't really get enough time to choreograph uh, nah, learn the choreography. It looked but perfect. So, so how was your first BET awards show and performance? How, how did you feel? I had fun. I was in there like a baby in a candy store. I was like, oh, I'm at the BET awards. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I had fun. And now, how, how did you see? Did you see Buster Rhymes? I seen Buster. Oh my what God. did you think out of all the performances? Because we've seen so many performances. We've seen, of course, we've seen the, the South performances. Mm -hmm. We've seen in New York with Fab yes. and Styles mm -hmm. and Redman and Ja Rule and all of them. And then we've seen Buster and then we've seen the West. Who, who did you like the most? And, and, and tell me some of your, your most memorable moments. Buster took it. You know why? Because he, he gave some real true say. He did. And he spoke to the people as well as the kids. And he spoke to everybody. And that's what it's about. When you get a platform, you speak the truth, and you have a voice, and you touch the kids. Yeah, I mean, he, he killed it. But now we got to talk about you. 
<laughs> when, when are we getting your project? We, of course, we, we've seen a couple of records. Mm -hmm. One went gold on its way to platinum. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm glad you well, remind congrats, me. Congratulations Thank on that. Thank you. Sav and Eddie been calling me every <laughs> morning to make sure I play the record every morning. So salute to them. So what's, what's next for Lola? What's next is completing a project. Right now is 92% done. 2023, you're definitely getting a project from Lola Brooke for sure. Okay. All right. So for the people out there that don't, give them all your information so they can follow you. And you get, once again, you killed it. Was that the, the routine that Tiana Taylor did? Tiana. Oh, my God. Tiana, I love you and congratulations on the win, baby, because you was a bomb director and a bomb choreographer. Now, how was working for Tiana? Because she's bossy. T but see, the thing is, I she wasn't. She didn't boss me around. It was just me. She bossed she around. She pushed. Oh, she bossed you around. All the she time. She should. All the time. She should. She should. She don't boss me, but she do. She she does push me for sure. Mm -hmm. But I feel like she pushed me because she know that I could do it. So I'm just happy to have a big sister to root me on. Absolutely. And stuff. Yeah. Well, we wish you the best of luck, and you know I'm, I'm always supporting you. So yeah. whenever you have something new, come f with us. Come support, and we we definitely gonna come support. I got you. I'm gonna come find you. I know you at. You in New York. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Of course, it's the post show presented by Popeyes. Lola Brooks, don't go anywhere. I'm DJ Envy. That's right, the post show. The show is over, but the celebrities are walking through, and we have the icon, the legend, Master P. What's up, homie? What's up P? How you feeling, man? Yes, sir. Any mic you want. Now, how do you still have the energy, P? We've seen you run out and perform, yeah. and then five minutes later, we see you on stage promoting the, the cereal and all the other yes, things sir. you got going on. Yes, how do you sir. still have the energy, man? You know what? Uh, when you put your trust and faith in God, anything is possible, and uh, that's what I've been doing, Put my trust and faith in God, keep working hard, keep getting better, and the young people motivate me mm -hmm. to be able to get out here and educate and teach and keep doing what I'm able to do. Now we're talking 50 years of hip hop. Yes. Let's talk about what hip hop means to you. Uh, hip hop to me, me and being a boss, uh, like you say, me and Snoop started this uh, cereal company, Broda's Food, where you got Snoop cereal, you go to Amazon, you mm -hmm. go to Target, you go to Walmart. I mean, over 100 years, we never owned them. We've been consumers of products like this. And so now being on WIC to owning a company with one of the biggest legends in hip hop, my dog, we both bossing up. I mean, it's a blessing because we're building economic empowerment, and that's what I want to see hip-hop constantly keep growing. Mm -hmm. So what was this, your favorite performance of the night? What, what did you enjoy seeing tonight? There were so many. We, they, they touched the West. They touched the South, the East, yeah, you the know, North. You, you know. I mean, I, it, was, it was a wonderful show. The most important thing to me, Busta Rhymes, just watching him Absolutely. and watching Swiss and, and, and the whole family get out there. You know, they, they put a lot of work in and to be a, you know, you seen Busta, the tears come from him. You know that Busta been putting a lot of work in. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a blessing to see him finally get what he deserved. Absolutely. Now, the last thing you did was you shouted, everybody put up a, a, a one finger up and yeah. you shouted out your, your daughter. Yeah. How are you doing, brother? Because when you lose somebody, sometimes we don't get a chance to grieve. So as a brother, just how are you doing? Yeah, I mean, when you talk about mental illness and substance abuse is killing our families, mm -hmm. uh, it's real. And to be an advocate for that, to be able to get out there for my child and, and she be my parachute and I could be the parachute for other people across the world. I mean, it's a blessing. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep growing. And uh, I'm going to let God help me, you know, keep moving. Mm -hmm. So, you know, anybody dealing with anything, man, you know, put your trust and faith in God. He'll get you through it. But you got to keep moving and keep praying. And that's, 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 that's what it's about with me and my family. Now, what's next for P? Now, we, we talked about the cereal and, and the cereal line. And yeah. you guys got to go out and support, of course, the sneakers. You got to put yes. the sneaker on the table one time so they Manyatti. can see. Y'all wear Gucci. We wear Manyatti. Motivating oneself, encourage you actively to think independently. So that's, that's what it is. You know, we got the fly kicks. Uh, I always try to think of a business, whatever mm -hmm. I have. Instead of just going to spend money, come up with a business. Oh, I also got to say a happy B-Day to my queen today. Oh, I love you. And, and we're constantly growing, man, constantly evolving. And, and when we talk about business, I can't wait for the No Limit TV series. Really? What, yes. What's, what, what's going to be the No Limit TV series? Y'all think y'all know our story, but y'all have no idea. I got to shout out Mia X. I mean, one of the first females to come and do this and for the Saudi and represent. Also, Mystical, Silk the Shocker. You know, I mean, man, we had so much great talent. So it's a TV through. series that starts from the beginning. My brother, C. Free Corey Miller. Wow. What, what network is it? Is it? I, mean, I can't say nothing, you know. Okay, because this, this, this is a great network. I don't Big know if you Buzz, know. You know, know what I'm BT, saying? You know, it's, yeah, it's, but you know what? But, but, but what, what, I, what I do want to say, man, hip hop has come a long way mm -hmm. to where we could be on TV, but we could control something. We could own it. 
And so I got to shout out to Rap Snacks, man, because Rap Snack put hip hop artists on the bag. That's right. So we got to celebrate James Lindsay and what he built with Rap Snacks and for our culture and our people, for us to constantly keep growing. I mean, we're going to keep evolving, man. You, you heard Buster, get the youngsters with the OGs, the ones that want that game, we're going to keep growing. There you have it. Well, Master P, I appreciate you for joining us, brother. Yes, and sir. Good luck with everything. And uh, I know they said, uh, your man told me that the, the food that goes into Walmart's the 25th. Do I remember that right? July 15th. July 15th. Yeah. July 15th. You can catch it everywhere. Make sure you go to your local Walmart and yes. pick up Snoop Cereal yes. support. And uh, thank you again, brother. All right. Yes, sir. Salute. There you have it. We're the backstage. Of course, this is the post show after the amazing show tonight. They represented hip hop so well. We're going to talk to some more people, so don't go anywhere. It's DJ Envy. It's BET brought to you by Popeyes. Thank you, brother. Yes. All right. We're back. And now we're here with the icon, the legend, MC Light. How are you? I am well. That was a fantastic show. You are the voice of the show. I am the voice of the and, show. And how is that being the voice? Uh, well, it, it feels good, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get to participate every year. And it, mm -hmm. It's been quite some time now. I get to see a whole lot of people get their accolades and get the acknowledgement that they deserve. And to me, it feels like a family reunion. It does. Mm -hmm. And what did you think about the Hip Hop 50 and how it was represented on BET this oh, time? Oh, I thought it was fantastic. I mean, still, you know, you can't help but run some, run into somebody on the carpet that says so-and-so is missing, you know? Right. But the truth is, Hip Hop is huge. Mm -hmm. In 50 years, I think BET did a fantastic job at giving a display of what an example of 50 years looks like. Absolutely. Yeah. What do you think about uh, Buster's Lifetime Achievement Award? I thought it was spectacular. You know, Buster is incredibly special. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we had an event. We had the uh, official kickoff mm -hmm. um, on Friday, which was the prelude mm -hmm. where we honored him and Big Daddy Kane and Yo-Yo. Mm -hmm. And there, Buster, we sat down for a fireside chat. And it was literally the first time that he was able to open up to an intimate audience in that type of way. And so I'm glad that the king is getting his recognition. Absolutely. Now let me ask you, as so much that you put into this game, do you feel like MC Light gets the flowers she deserves? Because if, if you think about it, I mean, me, me being from New York, mm -hmm. my wife is from New York, there's so many records that, that you have influenced and that you've mm -hmm. rapped and that you show lyricism. But mm -hmm. I don't. sometimes I don't feel like they give MC Light her flowers. Yeah, well, you know, that's all for interpretation. I feel good about what I've done, what I'm doing, and um, the alliance that has been formed with BET for so, so many years. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm proud of what it is that they do with mm -hmm. me in collaboration. And as far as the rest of the world, you know, they'll catch up. <laughs> they'll catch up they'll when catch they up. catch mm -hmm. up, right? And so, you know, Receiving the Icon Award at BET, uh, Hip Hop Awards, was really great for me. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I tell people all the time who say what it is that you've just shared, um, you know, just keep spreading the word mm -hmm. how, how worthy I am of all of the accolades. Now, also, it seems like uh, women have been taking over the last year. Yes. So many different women, from Alola Brooks, who was, who was just here, yeah. to Lotto, to Glorilla. Cardi B, to Glorilla. Flo How Millie. do you feel about that, especially being a, a woman in, in the game? And I know it was difficult at one time to yeah. break through. Yeah, yeah, how about that? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is spectacular. I think it's such a, a level, we're, we're heading towards a leveled playing field. Now, uh, we've, we've seen women doing it on their own, and we've also seen women doing collaborations, which is really important. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think now is the time that people are really seeing what it's all worth to have women involved at this level. I mean, this female MC category was action packed. It was. It, it was. was the first time you could really say, oh my God, who's going to win? Right, correct. You know? mm -hmm. So, yeah, it feels good. Now, after we see the, the first 50 years, mm -hmm. what do you want to see for the next 50 years? I'll tell you what I see, want to see first, and then you can see. Okay. I think for the second, I want to see artists start making the money they deserve. Yeah. That, that's absolutely what I see because, you know, you think about a lot of these artists that, that started this for us, that helped us get to this level. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think they were necessarily compensated for the things that they did. No, absolutely. I mean, when I, I think about myself as sort of like a middle school, mm -hmm. you know, um, and there are so many that came before me, Shy Rock from the Funky Four Plus One More and Roxanne Shante mm -hmm. and Sparky D and Sequence and all of these women who, you know, who kicked it all off who don't uh, get to benefit the way that I do. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm i not quite sure I benefit the way that others do. Mm -hmm. However, I think that the time that we were in it, we gave what we could. Mm -hmm. And and still to this day, many of us are still at it, still working. And I think um, it's, it's what makes you happy in mm -hmm. in the end, and I, I'm really happy just to do what I love. Mm. And I've taken care of my family and many other families through the enterprise that uh, Lynn Richardson and I have been able to build. So I, I, I imagine it has a lot to do with what you're in it for. Right. Yeah, and so sending kids to school to help further their education with Hip Hop Sisters Foundation, that's a huge feat, one. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know, I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate you for stopping through today. And, yeah. and we appreciate you being a voice. I mean, it, it was, you know, it's funny. They give you the tough job when people are talking so much, you know, and, <laughs> and most award shows, they play the music. Uh -huh. But in this one, they'd be like, light go. And you got to talk over them. I feel bad for you all the time. Yeah, well, you know, we got to keep to a time clock. But it's all good. I think Buster's speech certainly went over. But those are, that's for the many years that Absolutely. he wasn't recognized. That's right. And so... He got his flowers tonight. Well, thank you so much, Light, for joining me. Thank you, Andy. All right. Now, one of the things I loved about tonight was all the areas of hip-hop, right? And the styles of hip-hop from different areas were represented from the 80s to present. From the East Coast to Atlanta, Miami, West Coast, they went in. Let's take a look back. 50 years of hip-hop. Here we go. Yo, Yo, my name is D-Nice, although I hate to admit it. Taking out your suckers and you don't know how I did it. Let's go! Let's go! Let me pop Let's out. Run. Leave the club, stop and drunk, come home and hear my rocks out. Hurt, fuck the stop, he's trying to see me knock his socks okay. out. Tell him, meet me at the top. They got out. What you is, what you is. I'm all go like green. green. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Earn your keep. It's the West Side. Keep it free, Wama G. What's up? Let's go. It was a clear black night. A clear white moon. Wama G was on the streets trying to consume some skirts for the E so I could get some phones. Rolling in my ride, chilling all alone. My name is Yo Yo. I'm not a whole no. I like Come to blow so swift. Come it's on. got to be a gift. So yo, let the beat lift.
Now, in keeping with the Hip Hop 50 energy, our man Busta Rhyme got the long-deserved Lifetime Achievement Award. Seeing him get his flowers, respect, that was amazing. And that 20-minute performance, crazy. Can we talk about how crazy Busta did? Like, if we really think about it, he performed for 20 minutes long after giving a 10-minute speech and destroying it. And Busta's not one of those those lyricists that he could just say, I'm Busta Rhymes, I'm here to say. I mean, he's he's jumping, he's putting on an amazing show. Now, I've, I've known Busta for a long time, and I always love him, regardless when he does Look At Me Now with Chris Brown. That's the one where he does the, 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 the double time or triple time words. Now, if you don't know Busta, let me just fill you in about Busta. Buster's one of those guys that love from the heart. He hugs you, he tells you he loves you, he calls you, he tells you he loves you. He's that person. When I seen him earlier on the carpet, he introduced me to his six kids, and he's always showing so much love. And, and when it comes to performing, lyricism, he has to be one of the best in hip hop ever as, as far as performing. I don't think there's anybody that can outperform Buster. And as far as lyricism, he changes up his flow so crazy. And just a fun fact about Buster Rhymes, uh, when I was buying my first house, I couldn't find, uh, my credit was bad, of course. You know, when you first come out of college, your credit's always bad. And I was talking to Buster, and Buster was the guy that, he, he found the guy that got me the loan to get me my first house. Just a little fun fact. So Buster is that type of guy. So, I mean, I'm glad Buster got all this love. I'm glad he got all this respect. And if you missed some of the speech, we're going to throw it back to the speech right now. It's been a hell of a show. Uh, I mean, he, he talked about so much. He had Marlon Wayans bring him out. Then he had Swiss Beats bring him out. Can we just talk about some of the artists he brought out on stage today? He brought out M.O.P. They did Annie Up. He brought out Remy Ma. He brought out Coyla Ray. He brought out Bia. He brought out so many different artists that was part of his life. Of course, Rod Digger, who was signed to him. And, of course, Spliff Star, who was uh, his best friend and everything. But let's go back to the speech where Buster talked about you know, just being and having unity in hip hop and the things that he's been through. So let's go back to that right now. I'm DJ Envy. It's the post show brought to you by Popeyes, and it's the BET 2023 Award Show. Yes. 
listen to how it is, be playing us. 30 times I take it to make it delirious. What? Damaging everything all up in your area. Yo, it's funny how all the chickens be always serving us. All up in between the ants, where they wanna carry us. Hit you good, then I hit them off with the alias. Various chickens, they wanna marry us. Yo, it's flip mode, you stupid, you know we bout to bust. Seven figure money, the label preparing us. Like the dust, instead of you making the fuck. All right, so I'm gonna wear it on my sleeve. I do wanna cry. Buster Rhymes, he was on stage a long time. Well deserved. I got my brother Kid Capri, who I gotta say, was the host of the night. Pretty much. You yeah. were the host of the night. <laughs> there was no host, but you did everything tonight. They worked your ass to death tonight, brother. Man, tonight was just what you seen. I've been doing this for three weeks, trying to make sure it was right, man. I wanted to make sure that everything was airtight, staying up late at night, putting all the, the curations together, and uh, you know, people backing out, people jumping in, backing out again. It was very, it was very stressful, man. But it was well worth it because it was for what for the cause for, what is what it's for, and uh, Jesse Collins trusted me to you know that to take over that man I, you know and I'm very indebted to him for that because he let me display how it should be and I hope we did I hope I did my job I hope it really came across to all the people man it's, it seemed like social media is going crazy over there my calls is going crazy but you know overall it's going to last forever Absolutely. you know and uh, it, it, we just had to make sure it was presented right in the balance between the young and the old together showing that we could do it together there's always a separation I don't want that separation I, I don't never look at old and new I look at what's good and and tonight was good you know, um, everybody did their thing. Absolutely. So when you curated this, you know, what was your mindset and your idea for it? Because you went everywhere. You did West Coast. You did the dances. You did East Coast. You did new artists. You did, you know, you went everywhere with it. So tell us your mind frame and breakdown when you when you started to think about this. Thinking of the way I do my shows, everywhere I go. Uh, that's how I play, man. You know, it, it's never one-sided with me. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I play the new. I play the old. I play everything in between. And, I, and my shows, my crowds be like that. So. So, you know, it's always supposed to be a balance, man. It's never supposed to be one-sided. So I'm thinking the way that the parties are, and I want them to feel that. I want people to, to feel me more than hear me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I play. So that's the, that's what I was trying to get across in the award show. And it's never been done like this in an award show. You know, um, I think right now we set a bar real high for what award show should be in the new way of doing things. You know what I'm saying? Just partying and having a good time and celebrating the people that really deserve it. You know? Absolutely. Now, did you have any favorite moments since you curated? Was it something that you was like, I'm enjoying doing this one? Man, I enjoyed everyone from Sugar Hill all mm -hmm. the way to Swag Surf, man. It was just an amazing time. I, let me tell you something was a real highlight for me besides yep. what we were doing. Seeing the Migos come out there oh, on that man, stage that together, amazing, man. man. That Yo, was that, amazing, man. That was I wanted to cry when I, when I seen that, yes, man. I'm going to be very that's, honest, that's man. That's your brotherhood, man. The, the fact that, you know, sometimes you just talk, you got to let brothers work it out. Mm -hmm. And when it's that right time, when, when, when God steps in, it worked out for itself. That was a special performance. Special performance going to be there forever. People going to see it forever. And I'm so proud to be a part of it, man. Absolutely. Now, we got to talk about Buster's, Buster's performance. Yeah. What did you think about Buster's performance? Bust is, it, is it shocking that Buster can talk for 10 minutes, on a, give a speech, and then perform for 25 minutes? Yo, Buster is an embodiment of hip-hop. Absolutely. And a brilliant mind. 
So when he shows his passion the way he does, when he give his long lectures or his long speeches mm -hmm. or whatever you call it, it's something to, to learn from because he's been through it. He's seen it. You know what I'm saying? I remember when me and Buster was in, a, in the bathroom of Madison Square Garden and he was with the leaders in the new school and they put him on early and the crowd wasn't really there and he got really frustrated. He came in the bath. Me and him was in the bathroom together. He was mm -hmm. frustrated. He said, yo, I'm ready to get out of this, man. I don't want to be in, in this music business no more. And I said, yo, you're going to be great one day. Just stay around. And he's look at him, man. He's just incredible, man. He's definitely so, you great. Know, flowers well thing. deserved. Well deserved. And, I, and flowers to you, brother. You put on a hell of a show tonight, man. Thank you, man. And, and most people don't know, as a DJ, to do what Kid did tonight, and not just the, the, the talking and the curating, but everything had to, every scratch had to be perfect. Every time he dropped the beat after playing an intro, and then you heard Fat Joe rapping, and then go straight to Remy rapping. Those things had to be perfect because if they was off a millisecond. It throw would sound everybody. bad. Yeah, it throw, would throw everybody. Throw off. everybody. The dancers so, you have to think about just the timing. You know all that. I'm gonna tell you, I was I was a nervous wreck. I'll be right. honest with you. I, I, I could imagine because the world was watching this. Because you got you got a right. thousand bosses. Every artist is, is 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 a boss that's gonna get mad. It has a road manager that's gonna get mad. Has a main manager that's gonna get mad. Security's gonna get mad. So you had a lot of people that would have been mad at you, but you put together a hell of a show. So Thank we you, appreciate God. you and the culture appreciates you. Thank you. Thank you, I mean, I appreciate what you do too. You know. I don't know if people tell you. I'm sure people do, but you you work, man. Hey. You really work and you do your thing, and I'm very proud to call you a friend of mine. Bro. I'm just trying to stay around as long as long as my brother here and be irrelevant as long as my brother. Absolutely. So, guys, it's been a hell of a show. We had fun out here. Calling back some of our favorite moments from 2023 BET Awards show. We're almost done, but not until we give it up for Popeyes one time. Popeyes is the host, so if you're hungry, I got you. I just ate Popeyes the other day. Don't fuck. I just uh, <laughs> Popeyes. We got some more. All the, all the time. Their dedication to creating flavorful and <laughs> authentic food based on Louisiana heritage has allowed Popeyes to become one of the world's most loved chicken quick service restaurants in the game. Yeah. And we love our chicken from Popeyes. So you can bring in the Popeyes now. It's time. Bring it in. I'm going back to my room. I'm going to eat. I ain't DJing nothing nice. tonight. I'm just going. We got the macaroni and cheese. We got the gravy. We got mm -hmm. the chicken sandwiches. I know my sister Mercedes is hungry. She's been asking for food, so she's going to take half of this. But thank y'all for hanging out with us for the BET Awards post show presented by Popeyes. And Popeyes, thank you again for this food. We'll see you guys next year. Kick Capri, DJ Envy. Peace. Peace.